what's up book team? It's Amelia and welcome back to my channel. We have gathered here today in my dining room to celebrate the magical, wonderful, fantastical Ilvermorny. So just in case you have been under a rock recently, which is very possible, I live under a rock personally, so I totally get that. Ilvermorny is the American Hogwarts. And recently on Pottermore, JK Rowling posted the whole history of the school as well as a sorting ceremony so then you can find out what your American house is. So that is what we are going to do today. I am so excited. I've already read the history of Ilvermorny and it's a very, very long document. So I will let you read that on your own time. Also, it's just fabulous because I mean, hello, Harry Potter. But before I get sorted, I just wanted to go over the houses real briefly. In this long Ilvermorny history, it breaks down the separate houses into the Horned Serpent, the Wampus, the Pukwudgie, and the Thunderbird. The whole idea is that the houses together represent the witch and or wizard as a whole. So the mind is represented by the Horned Serpent, the body is represented by the Wampus, the heart is represented by the Pukwudgie, and the soul is represented by the Thunderbird. In general terms, Horned Serpents are usually scholars, Wampuses are usually warriors, Pukwudgies are usually healers, and Thunderbirds are usually adventurers. So based on those brief descriptions, I am feeling like I'm either a Pukwudgie or a Thunderbird. I'm not entirely sure which one because I don't have many specifics, I just have those brief descriptions. But I have a feeling it's going to be one of those and I'm going to be surprised if it's not. So as you can see here, I am on my Pottermore page and as you can see I've already been sorted. Obviously my Hogwarts house is Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff pride. I'm so proud to be a Hufflepuff, you have no idea. So if you scroll down, we can join our Ilvermorny house. Mm. At least I think this is how you pronounce it. I'm hoping this is how you pronounce it. That's how I've been pronouncing it. How are you pronouncing it? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Ilvermorny. Phonetically, it should be correct. But anyway, I've already read about Ilvermorny. So be sorted and discover your house. I'm so excited, team. So excited. Oh god. I've already read the story, so I'm going to begin the experience. Okay, would you rather... Oh, I want to wait for this graphic to load first. Because sometimes this artwork is gorgeous. Not sometimes, all the time. This artwork is just gorgeous. Absolutely. Okay. Would you rather hunt or heal? Um, definitely heal for me. I just... I don't like to hurt things. I... I would much rather help people or animals or anything injured and in need than hurt them. So... Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm apologizing for that because it's who I am. I'm not gonna apologize for who I am. I'm proud of who I am, damn it. Okay, what would you exchange for your heart's desire? Anything. That which I can afford to lose. Blood, sweat, and tears. What it's worth. Hmm, ooh, this is, this is an interesting question. I don't wanna say anything because for all I know that could mean that I lose a loved one. So I, no. Nah, not going that route. That which I can afford to lose. Yes, but then it would, I, yeah, yeah. I, that seems like a pretty straightforward. Blood, sweat, and tears. I'm wondering if that means like I'm willing to put in the work for my heart's desire because in which case I wouldn't mind that. I'm all about working hard to get what you want. I do like the what it is worth thing too, but also I keep thinking like if my heart's desire is worth a loved one, I don't want to lose a loved one. I'm gonna go ahead and say blood, sweat, and tears because I'm all about working hard to getting what you want. So we're gonna go with that. Okay, oh god, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is all, all the answers. Okay, think of the question you would most like answered by a person or an all-knowing being or device. Which of the following most closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear? Okay, so I'm not looking at any the questions. Try and think before I even like look at the selections. <laughs> what would my ultimate question be? Honestly, it's kind of, I feel like this is kind of like a very cheesy answer, but like the meaning of life. 
I think that's something that I would love to know. Which of the following- oh, wait a second! Which of the following most closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear? Oh! Well, this- this changes everything! So, let's see, without a shadow of a doubt, that's not really an answer to what is the meaning of life. Never. <laughs> I don't think I did this correctly. <laughs> um, very soon. It is impossible. Yes. I will show you everything. I like that one. That one kind of fits, right? What is the meaning of life? I will show you everything. I like that, so that that's that's an option. Only if you agree. If you come with me. No, I didn't. You are. I actually, <laughs> I would really love that response if it was what is the meaning of life? You are. That's just so, that's a very, um, I don't want to say meta answer. It's just a very philosophical answer. Let's go with that. Yes, you may. Only once. If you want to. Forever. Not for many years. I think I'm gonna go with, um, you are. Because I think that would be my favorite answer to what is the meaning of life. For some reason, I just really like that answer. So, um, yeah. You are. My greatest weakness is nobody's business but mine. What makes me, me. The source of my greatest strength. Something I must change. Honestly, I feel like my biggest weakness as a person is that I am way too caring sometimes, if that makes sense. But honestly, it's like I love the fact that I'm caring. So I think I'm going to say the source of my greatest strength because, yeah, I do care a lot even if I care about people who I probably shouldn't really care that deeply about. But I think it's great that I can show compassion towards another human being. So I'm gonna say it is the source of my greatest strength. What? Ooh, this is like moving. Was that moving or was I just like hallucinating for a second? <laughs> well there. What jinx would you least like to experience? A jinx that meant nothing was funny. <laughs> um. <laughs> That would be interesting for me, because I laugh at everything, like, everything. I get teased about all the time. Um, so that would be hilarious. A jinx that made all food taste like straw. Ooh, food, I like food, I don't want it to taste like straw. A jinx that kept you constantly awake. I mean, I already never sleep, so that would do nothing to me. A jinx that played music constantly in your head. Always have music in my head. That's no problem. A jinx that struck you dumb. Ignorance is bliss, maybe? Um, and a jinx that forced you to tell the truth. And I actually, it's a personal goal of mine to tell the truth as much as possible. I like to consider myself an honest person. So I think either never want to laugh or would I never want to have good food? Um. You know what? I think to live in a world where nothing was funny would be more miserable than living in a, f a world where food was just eh. So I'm gonna go with a jinx that meant nothing was funny. Why? <laughs> okay, this one is moving. Okay, it's not just me. It is, it is moving. So why? Why not? Because I want to. Stupid question. We may never know. I'm gonna go with why not because why not? I am strongest when... This one moves too. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm still... <laughs> I really thought I was hallucinating or something when I saw that first one move. Maybe they've all been moving and that was just the first one that I noticed, but anyway. I am strongest when I know I'm right with my comrades, enthusiastic, awake, alone. I'm not strongest when I'm alone. That is not true. When I... I'm strongest when I'm awake. I mean... <laughs> In some way, I'm conscious so I can protect myself, you know? So that's strength. I don't think that's... When I'm enthusiastic, I think, yeah, yeah. Um, when I'm with my comrades, when I know I'm right, that's something. So when I'm with my comrades or when I'm enthusiastic. I'm alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Ooh, I'm alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. Because um, I, I love being with my friends and they're my support system, definitely. But I feel like 
they would benefit nothing if I wasn't enthusiastic. So I'm gonna say my um, when I'm enthusiastic because then I am more willing to, or more adamant on getting stuff done, yo. Um, which is the better motto? It is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful. Friends should not demand blind faith. I'm gonna say it is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful because, I mean, I've already kind of touched on this, I'm a very compassionate person and therefore I'm a very trusting person and if someone throws away that trust, throws away that trust. If someone misuses that trust, then it sucks, but now I know what kind of person they are, so yes, I'm gonna say it is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful. I got Thunderbird! Congratulations, you've been th started into Thunderbird. More about my house. See, I told you, it was either gonna be Thunderbird or Puckwudgie. I knew it was gonna be one of them. Welcome to House Thunderbird. Named by Chadwick Boot after his favorite magical beast, the Thunderbird, a beast that can create storms as it flies. Thunderbird House is sometimes considered to represent the soul of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Thunderbird favors adventures. This is true. Thunderbird traits represents the soul, favors adventures. Sweet, is that, is that it? <laughs> so I favor adventures, that's what I've gathered, and I am a soulful person, I guess. I'm full soul. So that concludes my Ilvermorny sorting ceremony. I hope you found some enjoyment in it. Leave me a comment down below with your Ilvermorny house, and especially if you're a Thunderbird, because Thunderbirds! Thunderbird. Apparently, this is what Thunderbirds do. So far, I don't think they flit. I don't think I don't think they're flitters. They're probably soars. But this is more fun. Soaring, flitting, soaring, flitting. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to be updated for future videos, then hit that fancy dancer subscribe button. I hope all you horn serpents, puck wedgies, thunderbirds, and wampuses are doing very well and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!